Okay, everybody, this is part two of the French Revolution uh, explained video. And if you didn't watch part one, there will be a link on this, uh, vi in this video, which you can click on to watch part one. If you have already watched part one or you want to l listen t uh, to the part about the storming of the Bastille and the creation of the new nation, then continue watching this part of the revolution uh, video. Okay, let's get started. So, the storming of the Bastille. The next major event of the revolution occurred during two, uh, due to a major mistake by, made by Louis the Sixteenth. So, what did he do? He started ordering troops to Paris and Versailles in case he needed to uh, preserve the monarchy by force. And this action created fear within the National Assembly. Fear that the king would bring an end to their meetings uh, with the use of force. As a response to the monarch's mo mobilization of troops, the French people, sympathized with the National Assembly, decided to arm themselves as well. So this is what happened. Uh, the, f the king started, putting, uh, started uh, placing soldier more soldiers on the roads and Versailles and, and Paris fearing that the uh, that the French people could at any day you know revolt and the National Assembly feared that the king would bring an end to their productive me uh, meetings by the means of force so as a response to the monarch's mobilization of troops the French people decided to arm themselves as well so on July 14th 1789 now remember that date July 14th 1789 a mob of Parisians, Pari uh, Parisians went to the Bastille, which was an ancient prison, and it didn't have uh, many, uh, I believe it had 14 uh, detainees, not more. So it's a, it's a very big prison, but it, it had many weapons, but it didn't have prisoners. So the, pr uh, the uh, Parisians went to the Bastille, they stormed the Bastille, looking for weapons looking for weapons. In the past, the French government would imprison people at the Bastille if they spoke against the monarchy, but nowadays, uh, but at the time, there wasn't many uh, people in the uh, Bastille. So upon arrival to the Bastille, the Parisians crowd tried to negotiate with the Bastille's commander for weapon. As negotiations failed, the prison guards and the guards exchanged fire and the mob started storming the prison. The mob killed the commander and paraded around the Bastille with his head on a stick. We could see how violent the French Revolution was even from the beginning. The takeover of the Bastille became a powerful symbol of the French Revolution because now the French monarch and the nobility and the clergymen could see the power of the French people before their eyes. So the spread of fear. After the storming of the Bastille, many people feared the king's punishment and the end of the revolution. Some people spread rumors about the king hiring foreign soldiers to punish the third state. Now, this, is, this wasn't very far off because we know that the French king had relations with Austria because Marie Antoinette, as we all know, is from Austria. As a result of many rumors, a panic later uh, called the Great Fear swept through France. Now at any time when you find a mob uh, with weapons there will be fear and the great fear uh, swept France during that time. For example rumors of massacres spread from village to village and many people believed all kinds of crazy stories when in reality nothing really happened in France at the time. So for example in the region of uh, Champagne uh, 3,000 men tried to find a gang of thugs reportedly seen in their village. However, the gang turned out to be just a herd of cattle. So we could see the uh, the uh, the uh, the fears and how how uh, how much it reached out to people in rural areas. And so the uh, I'm I'm gonna so. Uh, you know, a wep a t a bearing arms was necessary. The violence that marked the beginning of the revolution had lessened and now the National Assembly began to transform century-old French tradition and law. The Assembly formed a new government and France's monarchy eventually crumbled. In 1789, the, the National Assembly 
adopted the Declaration of the Rights of Man and the Citizen. Listen closely to this. The writers of the Declaration took their inspiration from the English Bill of Rights and the American Declaration of Independence and the writings of the English Enlightenment philosophers. The document stated that all men are born equal and remain equal before the law. Like the U.S. Bill of Rights, the French Declaration guaranteed freedom of speech, the press, and religion. Now, this is important because later, uh, after the French Revolution, we will see how the Declaration, uh, how the, uh, the religion part uh, of that Declaration crumbled. Also, we will understand that uh, it's the right of man and not women. These rights, however, did not extend to women, like I said. A playwright named Olympe Daguz wrote a Declaration of, of Rights for Women, but the National Assembly turned it down. Like, what are you talking about, boy? Uh, women don't get rights? Not in this country? Well, not at that time. So, alarmed by the National Assembly's action, the king made the same mistake again he made earlier in the summer. He called troops to Versailles to protect the throne. This action made many Parisians mad because of fear that the king had plans to crush the revolution. You know, the king did not learn, and uh, and he and so a mob of seven thousand women marched the, st uh, the streets of Paris to Versailles. That's a huge distance, demanding bread, and broke into the king's palace. So we could see that. It was called the Women's March uh, uh, to, Ver of, of, uh, to Versailles. To make peace with the mob, Louis agreed to move from the Palace of Versailles to Paris and live in the Tuileries Palace with his family. This meant that, and, and this is symbolic, uh, 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 symbolic because now uh, the king wasn't living in this lavish, huge palace. Now he was living amongst the Parisians, and the Parisians were known to be violent, as we have seen. And so the king would start fearing the people. The uh, the seizing of all church lands and selling them off to pay off the debt of France, uh, and 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 the seizure of the royal palace encouraged the revolutionary leaders to take bolder steps and passed several anti-clerical measures such as the seizure of all church lands and selling them off to pay the debt of France. Now, it's one thing to abdic to 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 uh to take to storm the Bastille to um to move the king, but religion is a very sensitive matter and by doing all these actions that are anti-clerical uh, it, it, it's it, it, it the, the at the time people could see how much people were leaving the 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 domain of the Roman Catholic Church and forming their own and uh, political institutions and entities. So all religious orders were disbanded. An act that turned clergy members into public employees was created. To uh. In, in 1791, the National Assembly finally completed its constitution. It created a new legislative body called the Legislative Assembly. The constitution entailed the following. Broad voting rights for all citizens, but only for tax-paying citizens over the age of 25. The monarchy would stay in place, but with severely restricted power. As a result, the monarch felt unsafe and tried to flee Paris undetected. They were recognized and brought back to the uh, Tuileries Palace. We could understand from this that the nation is in a very sensitive matter, that even the king, the abs who was once the absolute ruler of France, can no longer you know, feel safe in his own home palace in France. So in 1792, Austria and Prussia issued a declaration warning. The French uh, warning against the French, uh, harming the French monarchy. Uh, now, the declaration was not meant as a serious threat. Uh, Austria sent fifty thousand troops to the French uh, border. Now, when there is a revolution in a country with similar cultural uh, ideas and and similar people, 
the revolution spreads as we can as we saw for example in the Arab Spring Tunis has started the revolution and came to Egypt and uh, and uh, Libya and Syria and Yemen because they all share the same culture and Austria feared that the revolution might come to Austria and that's why they sent 50,000 troops uh, and, and, and issued this threat to France so, so the Austrian people could see how bad a revolution uh, would look like. In response, the National Assembly declared war against the Austrians but was defeated. Many people blamed the army's defeat on the king. Parisians feared that the achievement of the revolution would be overturned and felt that they had nothing to lose from extreme action because they were living in, in, in literally small cottages with almost no food and so they have nothing to lose if they fight for the revolution. Now this can also uh, show how the king did not even have power of the army at the time, not complete power at least. So the end of the monarchy. In 1792, the Paris and mob marched into the Tuileries palace and slaughtered the guards. Louis, Louis, uh, Louis, Marie Antoinette and the children, now demoted to commoners, were thrown in prison. Fearing mob violence and foreign invasion, the National Assembly voted itself out of, the ex out of existence and called for a new legislator, the National Convention. So, the, the king is taken into uh, to prison, thrown into prison. Now, uh, and, and fearing that there might be mob violence or whatnot, the uh, National Assembly disintegrated and formed something called the National Convention. And now, among the first acts of the National Convention were abolishing the monarchy and declaring France a republic. The same day the National Convention met, France won a battle against the foreign invaders, which helped inspire the revolutionary troops, uh, and this helped inspire the revolutionary troops and hold its ground against the Europea uh, Europe's old order. This is, this is problematic in Austria's view and in other nations, where you had this monarchy that... Uh, uh, they saw before their eyes the death of a monarch and the imprisonment and the the declaration of a republic and the declaration of the rights of man and so this and so of course they declared uh, war against these uh, uh, against the French because they fear of the revolution spreading uh, to uh, their countries thank you for watching this video I hope you liked it uh, if you did like it, please hit the like button on the YouTube page. Uh, also, subscribe if you want to uh, uh, to more. If you want to subscribe to more videos, I have awesome videos on this channel, and I uh, want you to check it. And if you want, you could uh, follow me on Twitter at idarishman. Thank you for watching this video, and uh, thank you. I don't know what to say, you know. Thank you. You're a good audience.